For what I'm going to do with this black color is I'm going to mix in, uh, I'm going to mix raw umber in with my Mars black. So Mars black sometimes can be very blue, sometimes it is brown, depends on the manufacturer that you have for your paint. Colors aren't the same from manufacturer to manufacturer. So um, using this old Holland, like I said, the raw umber is a little transparent. The Mars black is extremely opaque. When I put those together, they cover well, but the raw umber helps the brown, uh, it, it helps the Mars black go from a blue tone to a brown tone. It gets to be a warm black. The raw umber helps it dry quickly, and it gives it a little bit of sheen, where sometimes Mars black right out of the tube can be kind of chalky. So again, I'm mixing two paints together for their characteristics. It's not just black out of the tube, it's a black that I know that works for me. And I might even put some raw sienna in it so that it can dry quicker and do other things to it as well. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Okay, thanks. I can just kind of feel that this is starting to be like that warm peanut butter thing, you know, that they talk about or whatever. But the real test will be once you put the brush on the bird, if you feel like you're dragging it or you're trying to put like, you know, rubber cement on the decoy, that's where you know that, okay, it's not the right consistency. Stop, get it the right consistency, quit, quit uh, fighting it because it should really flow, it should be easy to move around. And 